Today, I'm gonna to show you how to assemble your brand new metal hose drill cart straight out of the box. First, carefully lay out all the contents of the box and organize in the order that you'll need them to make it nice and easy for us as we go. Our next step is to assemble the base of the cart. To do this, lift the hose drum until the two metal plates are aligned on either side. Secure into place with the two large threaded screws provided. If you're following along with the manual, these are labelled Part B. Avoid tightening the screws all the way at this stage to make attaching the handle easier. Now it's time to put together the hose guide system. This is the part that runs back and forth when you pull out and retract the hose to make sure it layers correctly and neatly. First, take your hose guide system and place into the opening of the grab handle like so, until it clicks. Make sure the black worm drive is on the bottom. Then, line up the screw holes and secure using the four self-tapping screws provided. This is part A in the manual. I'd recommend waiting to tighten them until you're sure all screws are lined up. Now we can attach the grab handle to the cart base. Simply insert the handle into the frame until the snap buttons pop. Slide the tray into the plastic supports on the grab handle. Now the handle is in place, we can go back to the hose drum and tighten the screws from step one. Now the cart is really taking shape, it's time to attach the wheels. Turn the cart on its side and insert the first wheel onto the cart axle, making sure the flat side of the wheel is facing outwards. Place the cover on the axle and lightly push into place. Insert the U-pin into the designated slot, which is this wide opening. This will lock the wheel in place. If it's a little difficult to get in, you can use a hammer to gently tap it. Repeat the process on the other side with the second wheel. We're almost finished. Next, we need to attach the crank handle and the water inlet. To do this, first we push the crank handle into the slot on the right hand side of the cart. Secure in place using the provided screw. Next, install the water inlet by pulling the locking lever down and inserting it in the desired direction. You can choose to face it left, right or down. Push the inlet tube all the way in, then close the locking lever like so to secure in place. This cart I've just assembled comes with a 30 metre hose included. But if you choose to buy one without a hose, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. I'll show you how to fit your own hose in just a moment. Whether you purchase the cart with or without a hose, all carts come with a pre-fitted leader hose and two Hoselink Universal tap connectors. One with a black reducer and one with a gray reducer. The tap connector with the black reducer screws onto the cart's water inlet, while the other one screws directly onto your outdoor tap. Now you can fit the leader hose with an easy point and twist motion to ensure a watertight connection from the tap to your cart. Attach the included spray gun. Thread the end of the hose through the hose guide system and connect the spray nozzle using the same point and twist action. Now all we have left is this peg, which can be used to hold the cart in place as you water. Just place it over the front leg, like this. If you want to see the cart in action, be sure to check out this video here. If you purchase the hose drill cart without the hose included, I'm now going to show you how to attach your own, as well as how to get started with the included no leak, no burst hose link hose fittings. First, grab your hose and make sure there are no existing fittings on either end. Now pick up the included hose clamp and get a cup of boiling water ready. The first thing I recommend you do is fit the included hose connector with flow control. To do this, take the end off your hose and ensure it has a nice, neat, flat edge. If in doubt, snip a bit off the end using secateurs. 
Now, unscrew the rear nut from the fitting and place it over the end of your hose. Next, push the white split ring on flush with the end of the hose. Dip the end of the hose in boiling water for 5 to 10 seconds to soften the hose a little. Then remove the stem from the fitting. Push the hose onto the stem, making sure the hose and split ring are pushed all the way down to the base. Now place it back on the fitting case and tighten the rear nut to secure. Now we're ready to fit the hose to the drum. To begin, line the hose guide up with the inlet stem, like so. Thread the end of the hose without a fitting through the hose guide and slide the clamp over it. Soften the end of the hose in a cup of boiling water for a few seconds before pushing it onto the water inlet, making sure it's pushed all the way to the base. Tighten the hose clamp with a screwdriver to secure. Now you can wind the hose onto the drum. Now you're ready to go. Don't forget to refer to your manual for tips on how to keep your car in good working order year after year with a little annual TLC. Happy watering.